Radio, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome to a new series. I've been itching to play some modded Minecraft, so you can see we're playing The Simple Life 2, because I didn't get very far along in our last series. So we're going to do Season 2, we're going to play some single player. I have been watching a bunch of modded Minecraft on YouTube, and I'm getting the itch to play. So, I can't remember... All this stuff. I think just da, 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 default. Uh, okay, let's create our world. So yeah, I've been watching uh, Iskal85, who's one of the hermits. I've been watching him play quite a bit of modded Minecraft recently. Watching him play through Stone Block, and I didn't want to play another Skyblocky type thing. So we're gonna play the Simple Life too. Quest based should be pretty fun. Uh, we didn't get super far into it when we were on the Simpleton server, but we're gonna try it out. I'm also gonna blame a little bit 99 blocks who has restarted as well doing season two. So go check out his channel. Obviously, 99 blocks is the creator and a good friend of mine. Um, we are just hanging out in the middle of an island. We're gonna be doing a different type of sky block. It's called Survival Island. We don't even have a tree though, so we won't be here for very long. So yeah, 99 blocks has started season two. Calls, I think he said, um, I don't know, go check out his channel, he'll explain why he's doing season two. Good stuff. Um, help me introduce, let's see, we want to change that off, and, okay. Yeah, anyway, I want to give this another go. So, you can see, here are the Simple Life 2. The other thing is, is like, on YouTube, there are not very many Simple Life 2, uh, series going on. I was just looking to see if there was one, there's a handful of them out there that play a decent amount, but I don't think anybody gets real far. Winry gets pretty decently far. She's one of the simpletons um, as well. She gets pretty far in her series. I think there's like 60 or 70 episodes. I'm not sure exactly, but so we're going to try and get as far as we can. Um, you can see we start with a handful of items down below. We've also got our quest book. Thank you very much. Welcome to version two. I hope the changes provide you with an awesome experience, and I'm sure they will. So let's get started here. You guys know the drill. The simple life, change log, tasks, uh, we don't need that. Edit mode, okay, or gen. Okay, we don't need that. Simple life, da 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 da, -da. Welcome to version two of the simple life, two as part of a mod pack series. This now carries the subtitle Genesis. Aside from vanity purposes, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, perfect. Thank you to everyone who's downloaded and played the pack. If it is your first time here, welcome. Well, thank you, good sir. It is my hope that the changes I have made in this version of the pack will make it run more smoothly, contain less bugs, and overall just be an improvement over the previous versions. I look forward to seeing you all again in the prequel, sequel, and spin-off packs. So for those of you who don't know, um, 99 Blocks has He's working on The Simple Life 3 now, and then there's some other spin-offs that he has on the page. So if you go to the Twitch Curse page, actual web page, and not the launcher, you can find all the stuff he's working on. Also, go check out The Simpleton's Discord. He's got some good stuff going there as well. There's lots and lots of info on the Discord, so go check that out. Uh, 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 let's see, check out the changelog quests to see all the updates. Quest book's here to help by following the quests here, so the chapters will get you a feel for every major element of the pack, and hopefully pick up some tips along the way. The grass progression has some gating there, gating, and there are a few paths you will need to follow to reach top tier items and quests in the game. So the magic, you got botany, mystical agriculture, extra alchemy, and then wonderful wands. The tech stuff is immersive engineering, progressive automation, ender IO, and then environmental tech. Mob farms is immersive engineering, mystical agriculture, and then woot. And Woot I've never used before. Some of these mods I've actually never used before, so we'll be learning together. Recommended mods to use early game. Progressive automation, mob totems, mine colonies, and tinker's construct. Mine colonies is another one that I have. We get a puffer fish, thank you. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. So, um, we've got our first quest complete. Congrats, we've got a puffer fish. We shall name him and keep him forever. So let's see, let's go back to the quests. Um, I think each of these unlocks a chapter. You can see you can see the first part is various different thing. Like, so you see the number and then a colon and that'll unlock the various chapters. So we need chapter one is this one. Chapter two is hunter gatherer. So I think for this one, there are many plants and seeds that can be cultivated for food and wild animals from the hills and forests. Perhaps they'll open the door to further progression in food and survival options. Complete this quest to unlock chapter two, hunter gatherer. So once we unlock this quest, we get the three seeds that we need. Um, we can unlock the other chapter and I think, I don't know if we can see, we can't see it yet, but there's a whole bunch of other quests that are related to each of these. So hunter gatherer is one, um, bloodthirsty is another, storage solutions, just various different topics, uh, tinkering. So there's a chapter on tinkers, mayoral duties. I think this is the Mine colonies one and various things. So let's see. Uh, with the dawning of this new version of the pack, you're now able to level up 
learn and specialize in classes. Dependent on your choice, you can earn experience and other perks from your day to day activities. Press the hotkey opening level. Okay, so this is something that's similar to uh, Sprout, I think. Uh, thank you. If you remember, you I think you push L. Oh, got to reach level four before we can do that. Okay, that's fine. And you can turn your class and it'll give you some buffs and things. So let's go ahead and get ourselves these three seeds. Uh, let's just read the Ooh, nice little bluish color to begin with your food to begin with your food gathering You will need to either find harvest craft gardens to break or create them with a simple botanical ritual Once that has been done You can unlock a quest for each type of food in the game and upon gathering every drop from a certain garden Gain a reward in the form of a ton of food. There are also similar quest lines for natura and some other plant saplings perfect So let's go grab ourselves just some regular seeds. We can punch the grass around us like look at that pros already We've got a seed we just need three, I think, right? Boop, 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 boop. Shouldn't take us terribly long. So I'm pretty excited to play some more modded Minecraft modded Minecraft again. So I'm this isn't gonna take away from the Yeti Cave. Um, you guys know I'm already strapped for time as is, but so I'll be playing whatever I feel like playing. And um, I apologize if you are sad about that, but I have been really just feeling some modded Minecraft. Alright, we got the so this complete quest, that's what it's called. Woo so now let's take a look hunter gatherer you can see we've got a whole bunch there's a whole bunch of hidden things as well so you can see we need to get started now various seeds will drop from the grass but cultivating them can be a pain if you want to improve the variety of your diet and crop gain you'll need something for them to grow on and something to plow the land with so we need to get a water bucket and bone meal oh, we'll get an inferium hoe so the one thing that 99 blocks is really good about is providing you with useful um, quests rewards so for example the tinkering one all you got to do is make this and then you get the rest of the junk you have to usually make for tinkers so what i think we should do is just grab a bunch more of these we're not going to stay here on the spawn island um we may actually i need to change a few things here too let's go open up our options for journey map i like to have mine in a rectangle and then size 20. it's just a personal preference close that and then i also like where do i change this theme I like the purest one dun 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 okay so let's set a waypoint here with B I think is a waypoint and let's call the spawn and I'm just gonna turn it off for now um, we can turn it on and find ourselves back here later so let's head over this way to some trees so we can get started on some of the other quests we're gonna need to um, start mining and things you know it is Minecraft after all we are in the middle of a giant ocean it looks like this could be interesting so um, it's pretty similar actually to the Yeti cave oh also we're gonna go kill ourselves some sheep, but these guys fight back. So, let's see. Should be interesting. Well, I like, I don't see, oh, there's some land over that way, I guess, which is pretty good. So, whew, here we go. Headed this way. We're gonna jump into and get some of the basic quests done today and get some ch chapters unlocked. We may not get super far as far as progression goes, but that's okay. It's just the first episode, bear with me. Hopefully we'll be able to progress quite a ways through the pack and hopefully you guys can follow along as well. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay, so here they come. Yeah. Be careful because we don't have any armor and I'm a little bit laggy. All right, there we go. We should have enough for a bed, hopefully. We do. Oh, we should open up our loot bag also. It's just a common, but eh, just some basic materials. That's not too bad. Let us chop down. Hopefully we have fast leaf decay. I'm pretty sure that's in the pack is I also wonder, hold on one sec, let's see if options, controls, or excavator is in the pack, or vein miner. I can't remember, in some of his packs there are, and some they are not, yes, okay, there it is. The grave key, let us, I'm gonna turn the grave key off for the questing one. Sorry, this is not super high quality entertainment, I'm sure, but it is important, there we go, okay, I just, We'll just use the book. I'm happy with that. So now if I go like so, we should be able to take down the whole tree. We just gotta be careful because we don't have a ton of food. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay, let's get ourselves situated with tinkers. Let's read that quest real quick. Okay, uh, any crafter worth their salt is more than familiar with how to tinker. So in exchange for a small amount of work here, you can receive a full set of tinkering tools and open up some slightly more interesting elements of the TC system. So let's go ahead and get ourselves to crafting station. Very, very, very simple. I'm not even going to explain because most of you who've played modded Minecraft know how to do this. Do -do. Yay, we've got it. And then we can get the rest of these guys. Very good, now you can see we've got ourselves the tinkering quest. 
chapters unlocked. So let's go ahead and grab this oak tree right here as well. And maybe this one here as well. We're not going to want to stay here for very long because we are going to want to get into mine colonies. It's not something that I've ever played with and I've honestly kind of got mixed feelings about mine colonies. But it is important when you get started in this mod pack. It helps quite a bit from my understanding. So we'll get into mine colonies, um, maybe begrudgingly, but nonetheless we'll get into it. So we need to find land. The problem with mine colonies is it needs some space so that you can build all of the various Oh, hello to you. The various um, buildings for uh, your little village, your town, your colony, I guess. Let's see. Let's grab a bunch of different woods. I'm just going to grab some of this, and then I may go do some exploring off camera real quick and so we can get situated. Let's make sure we grabbed our crafting table. Okay, we did. And let's throw all of our Tinker's junk in here for now. Some of this. So we got a nice little backpack to start. Thank you, 99 blocks. Truly appreciated, Robin. Good guy. All right, so maybe actually let's do this. I don't need the wood in there yet. And let's build ourselves a boat. I'm gonna build a boat and we are going to do some exploring real quick. And I am going to find us a little place to call home. So I will be back with you all in just a short little while, I hope. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. So we are gonna actually do build our base. I think somewhere I've never built before is in the savannah. So, uh, the way that I found this is with the nature's compass, and I figure it's worth mentioning uh, this you start with, and the way to use this is very, very simple. You just kind of pick, you can scroll through here and see the biomes that are available for you to find. Uh, I think it includes all the biomes, so like the voids here, which you can't do, the end you can't find obviously in the overworld. But um, you just pick which one you want, so I picked the Savannah Plateau, and then you just click search. And then in the top left hand side you can see, oh, maybe if I hit T up here. <laughs> you can see I tried to sleep uh, up in the top left you can see it says found and then it says the biome and then it gives you coordinates and how far off you are and then if you look actually at the compass down here it'll point the direction that the biome is so we're actually in it so it's gonna point all over the place but you can see it spinning all over the place down down to the on our hot bar that's how that guy works pretty useful and helpful for sure and for certain so let's see what are these guys wild cow you have to be careful with all of these improving minecraft is the one all these passive quote passive mobs they uh they're not afraid to uh, attack so we gotta be a little bit careful let's go ahead and take down our first acacia tree right here Boop. down she goes and let us set up shop here before we get into the tinker stuff let's set up our little base here and I'm just gonna set it up actually I'm debating we may actually set up inside this hill right here for now just so that we're safe in the nighttime and whatnot and then we'll move out into the that's a huge mountain uh, into the the plains as we go eh, it looks pretty dangerous we'll set up right back over here back and forth can't make up my mind right here boom okay let's open up our backpack Grab the rest of this. Oh, for those of you who don't know, this is the mod it, mod pack is in 1.10. I was thinking about doing a 1.12 uh, mod pack, but I decided against it. Um, I was thinking about SevTech, which has been you know played quite a bit, and there's lots and lots to check out on YouTube. Um, I just wasn't feeling the grind. I wanted to do something that was a little bit more fun. Simple life is pretty chill, chilled and laid back, so we decided to go with this one. All right, so let us get see if I can remember I know a bunch of the recipes have changed and I can't remember how I think sticks are like this yeah and then we need to do boop 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 make a bunch of patterns should probably read the quest before we do it but oh he's changed them yep worth reading the quest book okay back here let's go back to um did we claim our reward for that oh yeah we did okay Got all the rewards, just making sure. Okay, let's go to Tinkering Around, let's read this guy. Tinkers Basic. Uh-oh. To begin your journey in tinkering, you'll need a guidebook and some basic materials. We'll start with making some patterns in the crafting station. The recipes for both paper and pattern stencils have been adjusted. So we need to check JEI. We need four patterns. Let's check that out real quick. Remember I was talking about recipes being changed. This is one of them. So we need paper, which is bone meal a spruce sapling and a pestle and mortar. So we can make the pestle and mortar now. 
Then we're gonna have to go find some skeletons, I think. Doot. Grab that guy. Let's build ourselves a few chests while we're here also. One of those. Let's make four. So we got two double chests. Oh, storage solutions. Solutions. Thank you. Can't even talk. Excellent. Uh, let's put that guy there and that guy there. I kind of like to organize pretty much like my blocks and woods at the beginning. And then anything else for now up here. Boop, boop. We do need to get ourselves a farm going, so that's worth checking out as well. I may need to, let's actually do, let's grab this. And build ourselves a wooden hoe for now, I guess, and then we'll go set up a quick farm, and from there we will start getting, or working on some of the other quests. Wooden hoe, hooray, we did it. Okay, let's see, I think, looking at the journey map, I think that, oh, let's actually place a waypoint for our base so we don't forget. Call it home for now, and we will keep it on so that we can see. Okay, let's go this. Well, I kind of want to stay in the biome. Let's go this way and see if up on top of this hill there is some water. It looks like on journey map there's some water, and we are going to need food quickly. You can see we're already running out of bread, the four pieces of bread we started with. So let's go up here. I wonder, are clay buckets in here? Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. I don't think so. Maybe we should have researched bucket instead. Yeah, no, not in here. Okay, we're gonna need to get iron, so we're gonna have to go mining and stuff, and I'm definitely not doing that on camera, because that is boring. Plus, I like to watch something when I when I mine. Turn on some Netflix or something. Or YouTube, you know. That works also. <gasps> There's a tiny little thing of water, maybe, right here? Oh, yeah. Sure enough, but well, that's not gonna be helpful for <laughs> our farm. We can put it here. We should maybe move our stuff up here. This is kind of a nice area. Maybe we'll do that. Move up here. That's the nice thing about getting started, right? You just never know where you want to go. One, two. Let's do, and I'm gonna break this to make sure that we can get all 16 in our little four by four area. Oops. That's okay. Plant ourselves some wheat seeds and start on our farming journey. And actually, let's just do these three also. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Got our farm started. And then it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and place our bed here. Good thing we didn't place that down. I'm just gonna clear some grass. Get our base started here. Like so. So we can sleep and more seeds. Okay. Ah, let's open up our quest book and gather that the rewards for our quest. Simple. Our storage solutions, aside from good old sturdy chests. There are so many ways to store items in The Simple Life. Some of them are bigger on the inside, some are for specific uses, and some require a full control system to manage. So we've got ourselves a chest just by playing the game, get our loot bag and storage solutions. We can start with a storage drawer. We may actually just do that um, now so that we can get, oh, we just get more drawers, which is fine. We need to build a two by two, okay. Chests are all well and good, but for storing a bunch of different items, but when it comes to bulk storage of things that you have too much of, you can't beat storage drawers. There are a few varieties of drawer, but each has its own storage capacity doubled to allow for more freedom with your cobblestone collecting. Perfect, so let's build ourselves something as soon as we fall asleep and sleep through the night. You can see we didn't have issues this time. I have that giant chunk of text saying I tried to sleep. Hello, Mr. Creeper, stay over there. So let's go ahead and oh, let's open our loot bag first. Copper nugget, not super useful yet. Podzle, name tag, yeah, none of that's super useful yet. Let's see. I'm gonna move all my junk up here. Let's do that real quick. And actually, we need to f go find out. We should have stayed nighttime. We need to gear up a little bit too, also, before we start fighting mobs, but I think we could take on a skeleton or two. And let's grab this. Let's see if we can't, uh, we can't vein mine any of this, which makes sense, they're all different blocks, but it's worth a shot. Grab all of these as well. I wonder if we could vein mine our chests. Let's try. Oop, you sure can. That seems like a hazard. Okay, <laughs> one of the funniest things I ever saw 
um, of breaking chests is um, Good Times with Scar. It's been, I don't know, probably two years or something, but he was playing Foolcraft, the original Foolcraft, and he had one of those colossal chests, and he just <laughs> happened to break the core. Woo! Lag the server, broke it. It was nuts. It was like, oh, it was awful. It was pretty funny. Luckily, Iskal was on, and it was able to um, fix the server, but... Whew, crazy there for a while. Okay, let's see. And our chests. Let's go ahead and get those set up here. For now, put the wood stuff back. We just did this. Deja vu blocks. New pods will block, and then oh, put the wood in there too. Everything else can come up here. We need to get ourselves a little place to put the puffer fish. He's our good friend. All right, so now we need to get into some mining and stuff real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go gather some of the basic resources, right? I'm gonna go get some stone so that we can build ourselves a furnace and get some of this food cooking like this raw mutton. I'm gonna get this situated a little bit better. Um, hopefully we can get some of this to grow and um, I'll be back with you here shortly. So see y'all in just a sec. And welcome back everyone. That wasn't very long at all actually. I, in digging and grabbing some cobblestone, actually completed a quest, the mayoral duty quest. So we're gonna do ahead and read through this. Um, this is just in chapter one, in order to unlock chapter six, which is the mine colonies chapter. In your travels, you may have noticed small settlements doing dotting the landscape with the right equipment. Perhaps you could claim some ground and start your own. Completing this, was a little, uh, 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 completing this quest will unlock six mayoral duties. So mayoral duties is a quest line focused on mine colonies. It's worth beginning early so that you can start to gather resources and advance through the mod progressively as you build other things around it. All you need is a bunch of oak or wood planks. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then cobble and bread. So once we hit 16, we got this. We get an uncommon loot bag. We also get a supply camp or supply chip. And since we are on the ground, we are gonna choose the supply camp. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, we gotta get quite a bit. Using your newly found supply ship or camp, find a suitable location to begin your settlement. Once placed, you will receive a town hall block and a builder's wand. The wand can be used to show ghost schematics of buildings in your inventory by right clicking a block. Okay. So we are going to probably hold off on that for just a second. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the storage solutions. We're gonna grab a couple of these if we can. I think I can actually only probably get this first one. We just need to build ourselves some storage drawers. And let's actually just use the oak ones real quick. So we need one of these guys and one of these, and I'm just gonna build one for cobble because I always need one for cobblestone. I have to build two, I might have to build two. Can't remember, which is just fine. Another one of these guys. Maybe? Yep, there we go. And we want another of these big ones. Well, or do we want four of the basics? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, we'll use the big ones. I like the big ones anyway. Okay, perfect. So now we can see if we've unlocked some of the others. Um, this will get us started into ref, uh, more storage drawer stuff. We just need some diamonds, I think, for the controller. And then we got backpacks. We haven't even mined yet, so we won't have iron. Fluid storage, and here's refined storage. This is a good stuff. So let's see, hunter gatherer. We still don't have iron. Let us go play. Oh, thank you very much, very much appreciate it. Let's open up our uncommon loot bag. Some prismarine, hey, and iron ingots. Ooh, I know just what to use those for. We will be using those to get ourselves a bucket, and we're gonna do it right now. Ta-da! Perfect, and let's go place uh, our little uh, what do you call this? Supply camp? Is that what it's called? Supply camp chest, yes. We are gonna place this down. I kind of don't want it all up on the plateau here. I kind of want it down in the valley there. So let's go where we marked home. Place this thing down. Do, 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 do. And we will call it an episode probably there. A little bit, I don't know if it's shorter, but okay, so let's right click on this. Uh oh, yes, I do remember. 99 blocks having issues with us. Let's go grab ourselves a shovel real quick, dig this out, and then we will call it an episode. Anyway, hopefully you guys are looking forward to a little bit change of pace. I um, I hope that most of you who are still around, like I'm not super predictable when it comes to YouTube, but I hope some of you who are still around are interested in some modded Minecraft. I know I've only been playing vanilla for a little while now, but let's see, let's grab this. 
let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any suggestions, tips, or tricks for The Simple Life, let me know. I um, It's been a long time since I played. <laughs> so let's go down here. We need a 16 by 17 area, I think it said. 16 by 17, yep. Doo -doo. It may make sense. Like, look, we've got an Astral Sorcery um, thingamajig over there. The biggest thing I'm worried about right now, actually, is food. So we may attack some of these things, but there's like... Let's see, like... <laughs> the chicken, even the chickens attack. Nothing is safe. So let's see, we need... Ow! There's another chicken. Come here, you. Let's do some of this. Oh, it's almost nighttime, too. Do, do, do. Come on. We're gonna need some of this resources anyway. Ah! Oh, don't. Did I hit the bull? Or the cow? Yeah! Yeah! I did sleep, right? I hope I slept. Okay, we're good. Otherwise, if I didn't sleep, we would be in trouble. And let's grab this acacia thingy out of the way. To go all the way back from spawn. But I'm pretty sure I slept up there. Okay. Let's grab this. Sorry guys, this is not high, highly entertaining. I know watching me clear ground, but this is the way, you know, Minecraft starts. You gotta start somewhere. Punching wood, digging up some dirt. And we're actually gonna let it turn the nighttime now. Which probably isn't very smart. Because we don't have a ton of food or armor, but I need to kill at least a skeleton or two. Alright, let's try this. And if I remember right... I'm just gonna hold down right click. Hang tight with me. Nothing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, let me clear out an area real quick. I'm gonna clear out quite a big area. And, um... Actually, I wonder... Okay, yep. So I'm gonna clear out the area. Be right back. Hey, welcome back everybody. So you can see we cleared out just enough space. Ooh, thank you. Sky of beginning. Uh, to get ourselves this guy all situated. So here's the supply camp. I just kind of, I don't know, I cleared out the barrier and just kind of held right click and walked around. So what the trick is with this, for those of you who are starting and want to know, uh, you're placing this block right here, the chest. So, and it's, I was facing this way. Boop. So you need behind you and, I don't know, eight blocks, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks on either side, and then however many back that way, 16 or 18 or whatever. So, here it is, the supply camp. We're ready to rock and roll. You can see we've got ourselves a little base of operations here. Um, would it be nicer to have it a little closer to home up there, but that's okay, not a big deal. There's a skeleton. What is he doing over there? Well, let's get ourselves some bone meal real quick. I'm sneaking on this guy. There's stealth. Oh, this might be bad. There's two of them. Let's go hide in here. Hide in our tent. Ow! We a jerk? Oh yeah, we're gonna die for sure. Ah! Hey, we got him! Woohoo! Alright, we got bone meal. And I think if we have... Let's get some bone meal and grab some water. We're, I thought it was gonna end the, the uh, thing here. Let's go to sleep. Can sleep here in our little tent. Very nice. And let's go grab one more quest, the start of the Hunter Gatherer chapter. And we'll call it quits there. Calls, we need to get ourselves going on the farming situation. And now that we have a bucket, we actually might move down here. So back and forth, back and forth. We'll see. In between episodes, I'll decide where I actually want my base to be. If I want it up here on the plateau or if I want it down in the um, supply camp. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Um, one of the quests is to kill a bunch of different mobs. And then it opens the chapter for destroying a whole ton of mobs. I mean, lots and lots. And it gives you some really good rewards, if I remember correct. Hello, getting started. We've got it. All right, perfect. And we get ourselves an Inferium. Oh, perfect. Let's take a look at the Hunter-Gatherer. And now you can see what I was talking about. There are so many different... Oh, this one's complete too, the Orchard. Oh, because we got a sapling. Yeah, we'll get some experience. We'll take that. Perfect. Local wildlife. We need milk, egg, and wool. We've got some of that, but not all of it. Perfect! Well, let's call that an episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are excited for a new series. Again, not completely replacing the Yeti Cave, which will still be around. Just playing both of them as I have time. And uh, we'll have episodes of either, both, whatever. Uh, the nice thing about starting a new pack... Yeah, we can be in mind that. Good to know. The nice thing about starting a new pack is, you know, or a new a new series is it has lots of time to 
this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, I have lots of time. Like, it's easy to make episodes at the very beginning, and there's not a lot of progression you need in between episodes. So, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Truly do appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!